So today I have a few books here, uh, mostly book talk books. I'm gonna like review each book talk book that I have read. Coming from a surface level reader that does not really like jump into books and like analyze the shit out of them, but I like just like reading like popular books because I'm a follower so when there's a popular book I would read it. Here are the books. You probably will notice them from book talk. So I'm just gonna go through each one and review each of them. And this is all just my opinion, like I have no credibility at all, so let's start off with the most popular It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. So I have three books by Colleen Hoover because she just became like that author where book talkers be like loving her. But this one is really good, I really like it. There's like uh, manipulation, domestic abuse, so if you guys do not like that, I would not recommend this book. But I think it was really good just to see, it was like a dark side of... A love story that on the outside looks so perfect. It's about a girl who meets a guy and he is uh, on the outside super good, a neurosurgeon, like handsome, tall, good body, just like all around perfect. And they get married and everything and then it all goes downhill after. He's kind of a manipulator. Her journey on finding out that oh he's not a good person, how she has to go through all of this and how she has to come to the realization that the man she's married is not the man that she thought she was gonna marry. It's really good, I really recommend. And there's a sequel to this book that I absolutely love. Her childhood best friend, Atlas. I love Atlas. Atlas is the major book boyfriend. He, he's just the perfect boyfriend, like book boyfriend. It's about Atlas and Lily and their journey together. This book was supposed to be a standalone book. Like the author, Colleen Hoover, was not really gonna make a sequel. But since the popularity from this book got so, so big, she decided to make a sequel, which is It Starts With Us. And it's so pretty and look at the little lilies in the ocean and this book was basically for the fans because the fans really wanted to see life after for lily so like how they were able to get into a relationship and just how ma how they make things work so i really enjoyed this it's really good and yeah it was just a really cute and wholesome a few videos back i did a reading vlog on this book so if you guys want to see my reactions to this book i'll link it below there's not really much of a plot but it's for the fans so if you're a fan of this book and you love Lily and Atlas, you read this book. You just have to. Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. This book is actually really good. Like the cover has something to do with the storyline. So when I read it, I was literally mind blown. Low key plot twist in this book. So, so this book is about a girl and a guy. The guy's name is Miles and he's a pilot and the girl is, I don't even know what the girl is. I totally forgot about it. Like this book is not very, it's good, but it wasn't very memorable to me. Okay, so I did not really like Miles in the beginning just because he was kind of a douche. But this book is really like, it has a lot of spice to it. So if you guys like that, I would recommend. Yeah, it was okay. So the next book, this book got super, super duper popular uh, on um, book talk. And it's not a romance novel, actually. It's a kind of like mystery psychological type of book to be honest i don't remember much of the plot i just remember the big plot twist and the characters weren't very memorable to me because i don't remember their names i don't remember who they were or like what they look like i don't even remember anything from this book but i do remember the plot twist and it was really good so i would recommend if you guys want to read like a light book but a heavy plot twist and it was kind of sad at the end it actually made me cry and i normally don't cry to books but this one made me cry um, I don't remember much about the characters. The girl goes to the lake house and she has a bunch of friends there, I think. And it's just really good and I would recommend it. And it's a plot twist, so don't believe anything you're reading in this book. So the next book that I brought really popular was The Unhoneymooners. This one, personally, I did not love because it was a slow burn. Was it a slow burn? I can't remember. Just because I got so bored of it. And it, this one took me like months to finish. It's about a guy and a girl and it's also fake dating trope. And they're stuck together on a honeymoon trip. But this book is kind of boring, but I would recommend it if you guys want like an easy read. The Spanish Love Deception, a fake dating trope. And it's really slow burn. So if you guys don't like slow burn, I would not recommend this book at all because it's so slow burn. And it says the Spanish Love Deception, right? And a little bit of it should be based in Spain, right? But no, like I would say like literally this much of the book was about Spain and everything else was leading up to Spain or after Spain. It was about 
um, a guy and a girl and they're co-workers and the girl lives in America and her family back in Spain were asking her if she had a boyfriend and she lied and said she has a boyfriend in America and so she has to go back home for her sister's wedding and she remembered that oh she lied about having a boyfriend so she doesn't want to show up to the wedding without a date well her co-worker was insisting i don't even know but they end up going together to her sister's wedding you can expect what will happen just because they're in a different country together they have to share a room sharing bed trope you know what's gonna happen i got this off of book talk as well but the one i'm reading right now is icebreakers this one is also really good i really like this book and i literally could not put it down but I'm getting to the last little bit of it and I just can't bring myself to read it for some reason. I love the campus vibe. I don't know why, I just like campus vibes. And he's a hockey player and she's an ice skater and something happens where they have to share an ice skating rink. The hockey team and the ice skaters have to share a hockey rink. So at first, she did not like him. It was kind of like enemies-ish because she just did not like him and they became lovers and it was really cute. It kind of gives me like off-campus series vibes if you guys know what I'm talking about, where um, the guy is kind of like the captain and he's a hockey player and the hockey team loves her, like the guys on the hockey team loves the girl. So it was really cute and I do recommend it. I just have not finished the ending, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good. These are the book talk books and don't take my recommendation if you I don't really care if you don't take my recommendation. I just really wanted to talk about these books and yeah, get some use out of them because they've just been sitting on a shelf and collecting dust. So, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please go watch my other videos, I guess. Bye!